Yo, yo, how's it going guys? I'm back in the workshop today and I've got my old BMX that's in some need of some long overdue TLC. I've had this BMX since I was about 15, um, so that's just over nearly 10 years now. I originally got the frame off a local rider called George Bolter. He's a bit of a legend where I grew up. Both him and his brother were crazy good riders and yeah, massive inspirations back in the day. But anyway, I found this video of him riding the same frame on a Red Bull video. Um, so I'll show a clip of it here, um, check it out. How rad was that? Still crazy to think that this is the same frame from that video. I'll leave a link for the video in the description for anyone that's interested. Um, but yeah, I haven't properly ridden for about five or so years and I'm pretty keen to get back into it. So I've got a whole bunch of new parts to fit. So the main issue is the front hub. I first noticed that it had a bit of a buckle and then I noticed that the flange on the front hub looked a little bit wobbly. Um, so after closer inspection, uh, I noticed a crack. You should be able to hopefully see it here crosses about five to six of the spoke holes no idea how long it's been like that but i'll be building up a new wheel for it anyway so nothing to worry about the thing i always liked about this frame was that it has this super interesting um, investment cast head tube the whole head tube is cast allowing them to integrate part of the tube which brings the weld join actually back a little bit which is the same as the seat tube join and also the dropouts So here are the parts I'll be replacing. Starting off, I've got a new E-clat seat post, which is a bit longer than my old one, which should hopefully allow me to raise the seat up, which is what I'm after. I've also got this shadow pivotal seat, a new Odyssey headset in black, some new E-clat slash pedals, uh, a Zumi super toughness chain, some E-clat spokes, a new E-clat front hub, which has these removable hub guards, which is quite nice and I've gone for an E-clat tripping rim, um, which is actually the same as my rear rim, um, but about 10 years newer. So the design and graphics are totally different, um, but I don't really mind. So yeah, let's start off by stripping the bike down. Well that was lucky I got a new headset, uh, seems like these bearings have seen better days. So the frame cleaned up quite nicely, I'm really happy how it's turned out, so we'll move on to the wheels now, starting off with the front wheel build.
Now that the front is all built up, uh, I'm going to start work on the rear. So this is one of the first ever wheels I built. Um, as you can see, it's pretty buckled with a, with a fair few hops. I'm going to true it up the best I can and see how it goes. Um, I actually followed a YouTube video about eight or so years ago, and it showed me how to lace it like this. And the only thing wrong with it is that the valve hole isn't in the right place. It's in between the crossing spokes, so it means it's really hard to get a pump in there, as it should normally be between the two parallel spokes. Um, but oh well, it's been like that for years, so I'll just leave it as is. So this is actually the first time this wheel's ever seen a truing stand as I originally built the wheel um, and trued it using the frame with some zip ties. And I think it's pretty safe to say this is probably the truest it's ever been. So these forks are actually from the same year as my frame. Um, so the dropouts actually have the same investment cast design, which I think is quite cool. And they were originally gold back when I first got them, but I repainted them about eight or so years ago with a spray can, hence why they look so beaten up. So the bike is all done now. Um, really happy how the, the seat post looks and, and I'm pretty stoked how it's all turned out. Probably the nicest I've ever had this bike built. Um, so I'm pretty stoked. And yeah, thanks again for watching guys. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this one. Can't wait to take this thing out for a rip. I'll catch you guys all next time. Peace.